of attack. It's interesting. I think you know, as we look at as we look at computers in general, a fairly new technology. You know, we see the same types of tricks being done on computers that we have seen in older technology that people have learned through either experience or education. You know, people are very weary about phone calls, right? It's a communication technology. People are very uh, leery of just replying to whatever a piece of physical mail that they get in their mailbox. And again, that's education, it's experience. I think we have a long way to go with doing that as well, but I think that is really part of the key, is educating people on the tools that the software provides you to help validate some of the information that you're seeing. We, you know, we've got guidance, so always make sure that you're, you're taking the link out of the email and putting it into the browser window instead of clicking on the link, because as we all know in HTML email, we can make you know, changes to the way things are displayed. We know that reading uh, HTML email while a, a rich user experience, if you want to be more secure, you can read it in plain text. We made changes in Outlook 2003 and Outlook Express 6 Service Pack 1 that help you know, restrict some of the things and how they're displayed in HTML email. So we blocked, for instance, the downloading of images by default and things like Outlook 2003. And so I mean, there's, there's a combination of steps we can take as a company, steps in the software, and as well as actually working really, really closely with customers to provide them with the education and let them know that, you know, it's, it's email. It is powerful. It has. It is a tool, you know, that that is much more powerful, say, than physical mail. But in a lot of cases, the same rules apply. You know, if you receive a package at your front door with no return address, that you didn't ask for it, you don't know who sent it. Nobody's called you to say it's going to arrive. There's no information on it. It's in the brown paper. You're probably going to be careful about opening it. You probably may not even open it. You know, and that's it's that type of education is letting people know that the same rules really kind of apply in email. You know, I can send you a, a brown, plain wrapped, uh, you know, uh, uh, package to your doorstep, and I can write, you know, I can write your mom's ad return address for me. Yeah, I can still fool you in physical mail as well. So it's really just trying to trying to help customers understand that when they receive an attachment, an email from someone that they know, it's best to call that person, you know, or or just reply back, you know, or, or open a new mail and reply to them and say, did you send this to me? What? Why did you send this to me? Where did you get it? Um, and it's this type of guidance that we've really got to, you know, get really good about communicating to people so that they have those tools. At the same time, you know. That's, that's stuff we can do in the software, stuff we can talk to customers about. We work very closely with law enforcement. And uh, you know, one of the things that we did with, uh, with download.jack was we worked with law enforcement, not just in the United States, but of course internationally, to try and get the server shut down for people who are trying to distribute malicious code. Sasser, same thing. So when we see phishing attacks that are trying to exploit vulnerabilities, you know, we absolutely work with law enforcement to try and stop those criminals from taking the attack vectors that they're taking to, to try and harm our customers. Yeah.